Okay, so resolution number 4943, resolution on Im implementation of smarter ballast assessment. Recitals, A. At Portland Public Schools, our goal is that every student by name meets or exceeds academic standards and is fully prepared for college, career, and participation as an active community member, regardless of race, class, or zip code. The Board of Directors is committed to educating a populace of critical and creative thinkers who are capable of shaping a just and equitable society to lead good and purpose-filled lives ready to participate in a global economy. B. As a school board, we have high expectations for our students and staff. We believe that all PPS students can succeed academically and we do not shy away from being held accountable for student success. Because of these high expectations, we want to ensure that any accountability measure for our students and schools is reliable, valid, and has been adopted with a culturally responsive lens. C. The PPS school board does not support teaching to the test. We believe in teaching the whole child and in the ability of skilled educators to creatively instill a lifelong love of learning. In accordance with state law and our own values, standardized testing is only one of many tools to be used in the assessment of student growth and in the evaluation of teachers. Testing should not dominate the culture or instructional time in our schools. As a school board, we believe the ultimate role of assessment is to improve instruction not to demean teachers or principals or to label students or schools. In addition, we recognize that no single assessment gives us the ability to accurately determine our impact on student learning. Classroom formative assessments designed by teachers, student work product reflecting proficiency and generalization of learning, and in-program assessments found within curriculum resources are but three other critical indicators of student achievement and teacher, principal, school, and district efficacy. A new assessment system aligned with Oregon's current math and English language arts standards is scheduled to begin in the 2014-15 school year. Along with over 20 other states, Oregon is a member of the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium formed to create the new Smarter Balanced Assessment, which will replace the Oregon Assessment of Knowledge and Skills, or OAKS, test. The intent of SBA, the Smarter Balanced Assessment, is to more authentically assess students by embedding both constructed response and performance tasks within the assessment. 24 Portland Public Schools helped pilot the Smarter Balanced Assessment in the spring. It is our understanding that the results from the 2014 field test will not be available until late November or early December of 2014, with the expectation that statewide testing will begin in spring of 2015. Given this timeline, we are knowingly entering a school year expecting all students to demonstrate their understanding in math and English language arts without first having seen evidence that the assessment is reliable, valid, and free from cultural, linguistic, linguistic and socioeconomic bias. Recital H. Based on the history of No Child Left Behind and its waiver that designates focus and priority schools, the United States Department of Education is anticipated to continue its practice of using assessment results to hold states, districts, and schools accountable through the use of report cards, labels, and sanctions. Recital I. Oregon has just begun to reinvest in K-12 education after nearly 20 years of budget cuts following the passage of measures 5 and 47 and 50, the statewide property tax limitation initiatives. Oregon school funding is still nearly two billion short of the state's quality education model, which outlines the funding necessary to ensure all students are successful. Adding new unfunded mandates jeopardizes schools, school districts' fragile ability to reinvest resources to better serve <coughs> students and to meet the state's 40-40-20 goals. We know that other school districts in Oregon face similar challenges. Recital J. The Oregon Education Investment Board's equity lens states, quote, speaking a language other than English is an asset and, continued later, our education system must celebrate and enhance this ability alongside appropriate and culturally responsive support for English as a second language. Again, continued, Students receiving special education services are an integral part of our educational responsibility and we must welcome the opportunity to be inclusive, make appropriate accommodations, and celebrate their assets. It continues. 
that resource allocation demonstrates our priorities and our values and that we demonstrate our priorities and, commit and our commitment to rural communities, communities of color, English language learners, and out of school youth in ways we allocate resources and make educational investments, and it continues, and that an equitable education system requires providing teachers with the tools and support to meet the needs of each student. Many national organizations have called for a moratorium of at least one year on any sanctions based on new assessments, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the American Association of School Administrators, the American School Counselor Association, the International Society for Technology and Education, the National Association of Elementary School Principals, the National Association of Secondary School Principals, the National Education Association, and the American Federation of Teachers, the National School Boards Association, and the National Parent Teacher Association. Recital L. The PPS School Board identifies the following challenges and concerns around the state's implementation of the Smarter Balanced Assessment. <coughs> Lack of an established reliability and validity of Smarter Balanced Assessments across all racial groups, socioeconomic groups, and learner types. Insufficient accommodations in the SBA for English language learners and students with disabilities, which creates new, bar new barriers to student success and will disproportionately impact those students. The computer skills, such as keyboarding and drag and drop, necessary for third graders to successfully take the test will rely on access to technology and training as early as kindergarten, which is not consistently available in all schools or in all student homes. The resource impact of implementing the Smarter Balanced Assessment extends beyond the standards-based professional development of teachers. The state will need to identify cut scores for SBA without having received field test results creating challenges for linking to previous achievement data and providing students with expectations in a timely manner. In addition, there are concerns about whether correlation of SBA results with previous achievement data can be accurately accomplished. As the state testing window is dramatically narrowed during the 12 weeks to complete both math and ELA SBA, Portland Public School students in grades 3 through 8 and 11 will be engaged in approximately 7 to 8 and eight and one half hour of testing. The current Oaks Science Assessment Remains a Multiple Choice Test is not built so students may demonstrate their skill in scientific inquiry and is not used as an active part of the existing State of Oregon report card. Technology purchases to upgrade student digital devices will minimally, minim, minimally <laughs> cost Portland Public Schools 1.2 million of our general fund budget. Resolution. Section one, the Portland Public, School, Portland Public School School Board directs the superintendent to ensure that teaching and learning in PPS are focused on education of the whole child and not on teaching to the test. That pedagogy is designed to meet the needs of all students while achieving educational standards. That educational standards are incorporated into teaching and learning in a balanced manner along with other educational objectives supporting education of the whole child. That testing does not dominate the culture of or instructional time in our schools. That assessments are used to improve instruction, not to penalize teachers or principals or to label students or schools. And that assessments are implemented to maximize the intended flexibility, collaboration, learning, and creativity in the classroom. The board call two, section two. The board calls upon the state to provide the funding necessary to carry out any of the state's educational mandates. Specifically, the board calls upon the state to provide the funding necessary to implement the Smarter Balanced Assessment effectively, including funding and time for both professional development and technology resource implementation. Further, re we request that the State Department of Education share the test in its entirety with our administration so we can assess the various questions concerning the adequacy of the test for use in our district. The board, re three, the board requests that the state not use the Smarter Balanced Assessment for punitive labeling or sanctioning of students, <coughs> teachers, schools, or districts. There must be assurances on the reliability and validity of the assessment. Use of an unreliable or invalid <coughs> smarter balanced assessment could undermine student enthusiasm for learning, could create devastating outcomes for schools, and could set schools and communities back years if not managed well at the state and local levels. 
Number four, the board calls upon the state to establish a transitional or pilot status for the Smarter Balance Assessment, starting with its initial implementation in 2015, to provide sufficient time to ensure the reliability of the test, to provide additional teacher professional development, and to provide students and families the opportunity to understand and learn from the results of the new assessment without the high stakes consequences that may have the unintended outcome of undermining student success. The board encourages, number five, the board encourages the state and federal department of education to continue to provide <coughs> students with opportunities to demonstrate essential skills for graduation through additional summative assessments such as work samples. Number six, the board addresses the federal, uh, asks the Federal Department of Education to grant the state's request to delay the use of SBA in the teacher evaluation system for the student data portion, given that there is, no, there is not baseline data to use for effective goal setting. Number seven, the board requests that the state eliminate current hoax science testing to reduce the amount of standardized assessments, allowing for a laser focus on implementation of smart, smarter balanced assessment and for alternative forms of assessment that allow students to demonstrate their skills in scientific inquiry. Number eight, the board directs the superintendent to submit these requests to the Oregon Department of Education and the United States Department of Education and share this resolution with our state and congressional representatives. Number nine, in the meantime, the board asks the superintendent, the state, and other partners to continue and expand their efforts to inform and engage parents and community during the transition to the Smarter Balanced Assessment. Number 10, the board directs the superintendent to provide regular reports to the board on the preparation and implementation of the Smarter Balance Assessment. Number 11, finally, the board thanks the superintendent, staff, and teachers at PPS for their shared commitment to providing a quality, well-rounded education with high expectation for all students. 